okay see when it comes to acquiring knowledge uh, the answer is very 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 uh, simple uh, human mind human brain is something that will like to acquire knowledge okay. and it acquires knowledge for two reasons one is for entertainment another one is for expansion or to simply put to manage the time so if I have to say it in a practical way it is for entertainment or for expansion and in other way if I have to tell it from the field of psychology then it is to manage the time or may make the best use of the time so what is the best use of time for me right now I can just sit and maybe watch a movie feel entertained feel happy about it then I will go and get knowledge which will make me feel entertained so if gossip makes me feel entertained I'll go and talk about gossip if it about if it is about like reading a book uh, helps me to pass time I will go and read a book okay it may be a story book it can be a fiction what will deliver me the maximum value for this time that is one way and another one is expansion so when it comes to expansion a uh, individual clearly needs to understand in terms of okay fine this is the expansion I'm looking for okay so when I say this is the expansion uh, let me give an example also if a professional okay is looking for and saying I'm a freelance professional and I need to get a job opportunity now to get a job opportunity if I focus on my hard skill or if I focus on my technical skills it will increase the probability of me getting a job okay if that is what is the attitude of the person and that is how the person sees uh, his or her expansion uh, professionally then that person is going to go and learn the technical skill if the person feels you know in terms like for me to have that expansion I need to have better sales and marketing skills then the person even if they don't know anything about sales and marketing they will still come in to learn about sales and marketing now if the person says whatever I do it doesn't matter I will get an opportunity when, when I get an opportunity then that person is not going to focus on any expansive knowledge acquiring or something like that so what is the meaning and what is the definition that each and every single individual has for expansion that is something that's very very important and how do you do it again it's through you know by repetition that's where you know I make it a very important point in terms of providing video learning materials like this video is a video learning material can I go through it again and again and again can you go through it again and again and again so first time when you go through it you may understand okay fine knowledge acquiring is for expansion now how will, uh, second time when you go through it you may think it's about entertainment the third time you go through it you may understand that it's about the time management okay then you may get to know about the point or get clear about the point that it is each every single individual how they perceive it okay so let us look at only these four points and look at an example for it when you say okay fine knowledge is all about expansion then you are going to you, you have to sit and think how can I expand and you have to ask your team how many of you are really committed for expanding or expanding your financial well-being or expanding your professional growth and all those things okay if you if you think it's about entertainment then it's a question of self-reflection in the terms like how you are spending for your entertainment what is it that you feel entertaining because that will a lot of times have a lot of clues for me business growth is entertainment I, I get a lot of fun when I focus on business growth okay the third one is about personal choice so personal choice comes only when you have different options and you also have the awareness of different options okay so I can give you an option saying that uh, okay sir you can come and learn from me you can come and learn from me either through a video material or you can come and learn through me from an online membership program or you can come and learn from my blogs or you can come and learn from me in a one-to group setting or you can come and learn from a one-to-one -one setting whichever way I have to first give you the awareness of the uh, different learning options then I have to give an awareness of what are the pros and cons of each and every single uh, learning options then I have to give you the awareness okay in terms of like what are the results potential results you can generate was ultimately you are also looking everybody looks in only for the potential results nobody works based upon like what they're going to do now even though all of us may say you know like I'm focused only on being in the now everybody is focused on the potential results what is the potential result I can see and then you just act upon it that's it 
and then you just stack upon it to be able to produce that result and take it accordingly so in this scenario it is very important especially in terms of knowledge acquiring to go through the repetition again and again so one key factor i look at it is i keep my video somewhere between 5 minutes to 15 minutes or 3 minutes to 15 minutes okay now what is the reason behind keeping my videos from 3 minutes to 15 minutes simple uh, if i keep my video between 3 minutes to 15 minutes uh, you are having a short break you can go through a 3 minute video you are having a coffee break okay you can put it on the projector a 3 minute video and everybody can just enjoy the coffee you are having a lunch break okay then you can put a 15 minute video and as you are having food you can just watch through it so these all these things become a learning option or a learning opportunity which you can do without disturbing or distracting your normal learning cycle okay so i learned this concept from different people one of them is to me open so this concept is not as net no extra time learning i have learned it from different people i have learned it from brain tracy i have learned it from tony robbins so like everybody uses it so when you can do it it's simply like okay fine uh, i'm now sitting idle can i watch and learn from some material it can be a video it can be an audio that's why i like videos more than sitting and even typing uh, i am i'm waiting like when i came to meet you i was waiting outside for some 30 minutes so i took a book and i was sitting and reading it so i'm making my waiting time as my learning time now every single time i go through it it may be like just 2% or 3% of information has got inside me however it's again like you know dropping a stone in a pot with little bit of water as you keep on dropping the stones the water level is going to rise and you take the water you drink it and you just move on so that's how anything happens people wait for a certain amount of clarity and a certain amount of certainty before they take action that is how they act on any knowledge or any information so what do you do you give them a piece of knowledge and you ask them to go through it 100 times or 200 times something like that the first time they go through it they may get 1% clarity or 1% certainty saying that yes it is going to help me the result however no person is going to take action just with 1% uh, surety that they can get the result for some it may be 30 then they have to watch the video 30 times for some it may be 50 they have to walk, go through the content 50 times for some people it may be 10 they have to go through the content 10 times for some people it is 70 they have to go through the content 70 times whichever it is it is about like to repeat the action again and again and again till the time you move on to the next action that's something that's very important that's how knowledge works that's how knowledge works because all of us learn so much of stuff every single day in our life in our schools colleges education system everything from our friends from our teachers from our mentors from our well wishers we get to learn a lot of stuff however a lot of those stuff don't get into execution the reason is because we are having conflicting patterns in our mind so how do you override that conflicting patterns you do it by repetition if you know what you are learning is really good then one of the easiest way to make it your nature to make it a habit is to learn it again and again and apply it as much as possible okay so that's how that part has to be handled